This is great! My God, I can't see anything! There you go! Much clearer, huh? Hi, I am Serena and welcome to my YouTube channel. As by the title that you've guessed already, this video is about my village, which is Kotang. And even, I'm not sure what this video specifically is about, but it's pretty chill if I may say so. Um, it's basically just me talking about the journey and life out there. So, hope you enjoy my weird montage and voiceovers, yet my hard work and dedication. As it was 5.15 in the morning and it's winter, my vlog started off pretty darkly, so please forgive me for that. And yeah, it wasn't just me on this journey, it was my sister as well. Well, not technically sister, but my dad's sister's son's daughter, and that's a lot to explain, so I'll just leave it to my sister. By this time, it was already really bright, and I am really nervous right now, so just enjoy this few seconds of montage I just made. Dude, trust me, this looked way more scarier in real life. But we did it! <laughs> After an hour or so, we arrived to Joomla and made this cute little twins. Yup, that's the other one. After a few hours, we arrived to Digdel. Now, Digdel is a beautiful place, which is understatement. It's a place with endless bazaars and it's kind of like a checkpoint for shoppings and night stays. There's also this auto, which we don't have in Kathmandu, so that was pretty cool. And honestly, I would love to stay here. This is our room for now. Yes, Hi. I know it does look kind of bad, but you know what? And yeah. Fuck it, the momo's this good. Is this is hers. Um, I ordered momo. Time is my friend. Until this life ends. Hey guys, it is another beautiful morning. <laughs> and my sister's so shy. Yeah, and. We came here to buy some tickets to go to Patega, but I don't think it's possible because of the rain and how the roads become so damaged of the rain. And yeah, I haven't even washed my face. I bought some biscuits and my brush, toothbrush. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Wow. Oh my god. That's snow, baby. <laughs> Snap! Okay, so here's what happened. We were supposed to go to Pateka today, but as I told you earlier, the weather's been playing games with us. And so, we had to stay for another night. Hell, not even night. Freaking day and night in Digdil. Again. But, honestly, I kinda enjoy this place. <laughs> but it's pathetic that we've been staying in the same place for two days. So we've been kinda hustling to get the tickets for Pateka. Okay. Dinner for today. Y'all, I've been wearing the same pair of clothes for two days straight, and as expected, we didn't get the tickets. And yeah, here we are, two days in Dick Pill. But it's like what, 10:30 uh, in the morning, and honestly, we were so worried about getting to Pateka, so we like um, 
talked to this one uncle. Thanks to that uncle, we can now finally get to Pateka. And after 30 minutes, we'll be leaving from here to Kiev. And yeah, get to Pateka. <laughs> also, there's like this big, weird ass nest right on top of my head. I don't know what is this. Maybe it's like bird nest or some kind of insect. Hmm. Nature amazes me every time. Yay. The road was actually really slippery due to the rain and we probably went all the way to Pateka like this but man this was probably the best ride of my life. It was really fun. Also we got to experience the hailstorm. Probably after a few minutes, we finally arrived to Patika and guess what? Met a friend down there! I don't know, I just have this weird yet such a true connection with kids. <laughs> Not that I'm childish or anything, but I just think they're so innocent and it's really fun to be around them. Also, enjoy this video of me literally bullying them to say hi. Namaste! <laughs> I would know our name. Because no one's so cute. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Gordon. Bye. Bye. What you looking at, huh? Oh my god. This is so much fun, but tiring at the same time. But the thing is, I'm enjoying it, and I think that's all that matters, isn't it? Okay, I gotta keep it. But yeah, it's kind of fun. And it's raining right now. But I don't really care, you know. Because I don't know, I just love everything about this place. The rain, the mud, the damaged roads, the river, everything. I'm gonna show you the river now. Whoa, look at that! Finally in my village. Hello, I'm in the Hi, I'm in the Hi. Hi. fresh tomatoes <laughs> and this is how we fill the water in the morning or whenever we need it and cardamom hmm and the beautiful nature wholesome isn't it <laughs> nice try Serena Today, huh? You're gonna get fat, but I love it. 
love you because you're cute. Aww. Your lips, my lips, apocalypse. It's cute. Not gonna lie, the first week was very hard for me as I was not able to adapt the environment there. But slowly and steadily, your girl became used to it. On a side note, I am not really a makeup person, but I am used to doing my eyebrows, mm. but hey, I survived, okay? I only wore my sunscreen the whole freaking time, and it's actually funny, I used to think sunscreen was also makeup, but I've now realized how important it is to wear sunscreen. Thanks to Sigum and Pritika, and not just for women, but men, hey. older people, and kids as well. So people, do not forget to wear your sunscreen. But anyways, that's not why I'm here to talk about. Would you please shut up? This gal has been mooing for like 15 minutes now. Anyways, um... <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, stop! Stop, stop, stop! Um... There you go. I don't know why did I put my camera angle like this, but... I guess I'm just nervous? Hmm... My hair color looks good though, but anyways, um, today is my last day in my village and I don't know, I'm just speechless about it. This was a very bad idea, um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm definitely gonna miss this place. It's been like almost a month at this point that I've been living here and everything's just habituated like everything's just normal for me now well i have to agree with the life being hard in here in village honestly i love this place there's no bad things about this place but sometimes living here can be tough because for let's just say for shopping or to buy something we have to go and climb like literally one mountain and that's just heartbreaking um and the toilets the school just for these little things um we just you know have to you know work hard and sacrifice a lot of things your time your power and yeah, sometimes things like that are just heartbreaking. But anyways, um, living here isn't that bad anyways, you know. Um, and it's not about just, you know, hard to live here. But um, a lot of people are missing their opportunities for work, for education, for basic things which... I am now really grateful of that my parents have fulfilled um, for me. The hardest part for me to encounter was when the children had to walk all the way from there to here from where I'm recording. But it seemed fine because they were happy traded with walking a lot and they seemed to be enjoying each other's company well. Man, childhood, always the best part. Oh, to see the world On a better side, I got to know and experience a lot of cool and new stuff Like this It is known as Joya in Nepali and is basically made by cutting the edges of the bamboo 
It is used for tying things, such as for example this hay. It tidies off all of them and the extras so that they won't fall or scatter apart easily. Cool, isn't it? <laughs> this type of chayote, which I had never seen in my life until now. And it doesn't actually hurt like the regular ones. And also your girl picked them all. <laughs> this cool screwdriver my Puse made out of corn cob. Man, he's so talented. And yeah, this thing which is also made out of bamboo. I thought it would be useful for me in some way, so I brought it with me. Turns out it actually did. And yeah, some other cool stuff like this. Hey cutie. Hey. I'm gonna miss you. And I'm gonna miss you guys too. Because you guys are so cute. And you guys have been so good to me. Except for yesterday. They troubled me a lot. But anyways, you guys are... I'm really gonna miss you guys. They have no idea I'm living tomorrow. Do they? <laughs> oh my god. I cannot believe I have finally completed editing this video! <laughs> All it was supposed to be completed over months ago, but better let than never. <laughs> but yeah, I am really grateful to my parents for believing me to let go on this journey and for this life I have. And I'm also beyond happy and grateful for I was able to go to my beautiful village and share some of these precious moments with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed and worked really hard while making it. I don't know what to say now. I guess this is the end. Thank you for watching guys, really appreciate it. Till then, bye! I'm gonna miss this place! A lot.